I'm standing in front of the Martin Luther Birth House here in Eisleben, a memorial site first stop for those on a Luther pilgrimage since the 17th century. In the introductory video, I mentioned that Luther's life can be divided into five divisions. The first division includes his birth and his early childhood years from 1483 to 1505. I can't think of a better place to start than where it all started, right here in this house. The original house was destroyed by fire in 1689. However, the town of Eisleben had it restored and it retains its original footprint. Luther was born in this house on November 10th, 1483. Luther's parents, Hans and Marguerite Luther, came to Eisleben from the town of Mora, where Hans' father was a farmer. When Hans' father died, the father passed his farm on to Hans' older brother. Rather than staying on as a hired hand for his brother, Hans decided to strike it out on his own. And in 1483, Hans and Marguerite moved to Eisleben, and on November 10th, they had a son. On the next day, it was a cold and snowy day, Hans Luther, a devout Catholic, walked out the front door of his home and walked about 200 yards to the church of St. Peter and Paul. I want to take you to that church right now. It was here that the boy was baptized. November 11th was the feast day of St. Martin of Tours, so the boy was named Martin. He later Latinized his name, so instead of Luther, it became Luther, Martin Luther. Hans and Marguerite came to Eisleben to make a living by mining copper, which had been recently discovered here. It was a bit like America's gold rush. In the 1480s, many from around Germany were moving here to take part in the copper boom. Hans soon realized that he had a better chance at making his fortune in Mansfeld, where the competition was not quite as heavy, so he moved his family there. And in Mansfeld, Hans and Marguerite did well for themselves. In fact, by the end of his life, Hans was supervising over five mines and had been appointed to the town council. Eisleben will prove again to be an important place in Luther's history, as this was not only the place of his birth, but also the place of his death. We'll get to those details a bit later. What is important to understand is that this Roman Catholic church in this Roman Catholic town would undergo great change in a short period of time. By the end of Luther's life in 1546, it would become fully engulfed in the Reformation and the Lutheran doctrine of Protestantism, all due to their most famous resident, Martin Luther, born here on November 10th, 1483.